Hello viewers, thank you so much for tuning in on ACN African Christian Network. 59 years ago, Gold Coast, now known as Ghana, gained its independence from the Britain. Ghana became a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. The Ghanaian Ministers Fellowship, in collaboration with Ghana Missions to the United Nations, organized a Thanksgiving Independence Day celebration for the nation of Ghana. Under the distinguished patronage of Ghana's Ambassador to the United Nations, her Excellency, Miss Martha Ama Ache Pobi. Today, the congregation is being ordered to commit back to the development of Ghana. Stay tuned. <laughs> To my right is Reverend Samuel Akufa. Um, Reverend, welcome to ACN. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, now let's talk about the 59th celebration today. Now, why is it important for the church to unite and come together to celebrate Ghana? Yeah, if you look at the heritage of Ghana, uh, proud to the uh, white person coming into Ghana uh, in 1472, uh, the Ghanaian had a sense of Jehovah God. Uh, we called him Onyankupong. Uh, the Gans called him Nyongbo. Uh, we had a sense of Jehovah God before the arrival of the white man. So the Ghanaian by nature, according to Mbiti, it's incurably religious. And as a result of that, everything we do in Ghana has a religious basis to it. So on a great occasion like this, the 59th birthday of our great nation of Ghana, there is that direct connection between the religion of the people and also the accomplishments of the nation. So what we see here today is a culmination of uh, these two things that have gone on for a very long period of time. So to my right is Ghana's ambassador to the United Nations, Her Excellency, the very first Miss Martha Ahmad Achampobi. Well, welcome to ACN. Thank you very much. Now, what is the permanent mission of Ghana to the United Nations doing right now when it comes to the 59th celebration of um, Ghana's independence? Oh, um, we have a whole program lined up. We started actually on Friday. We did the Muslim prayers, then we had a flag raising at the City Hall in Yonkers. Then the National Council had a dinner dance last night. And today I think it's very special because we're having an uh, interdenominational church service here. I think this has been the crowning moment. We have another event on Tuesday which is business promotion. Uh, where we're expecting about a hundred uh, companies from New York and New Jersey around the United States to come and engage with Ghanaian businesses to see how they can invest back in Ghana. I mean, Ghana has a lot of uh, uh, business opportunities, uh, very good incentives uh, for businesses, and we want people to know about it and to actually link up companies from both sides to see how they can take this forward. I am so glad you just mentioned that because my next question for you was some of the resources that your office is actually doing for the community, the Ghanaian community here in the diaspora. So good to know. Any other thing uh, attached to that, the resources? Well, for, you know, most Ghanaians uh, would be interested in their passports and getting visas every now and then. And so we're trying to make this easier for people. We're trying to roll out um, uh, an e-electronic way of doing things, uh, filling forms electronically online. We process the visas, we process passports online so that people don't actually have to move yeah. to Manhattan. They can do uh, all these transactions online with the mission. This is really taking it forward. And then we also want to engage Ghanaian businesses to work with us, uh, see how we can help them uh, to get better and also to contribute back to the motherland. So I have Mr. Oforiano here who owns a long title, so I'll let you say it for yourself. Yes, uh, I am the uh, Executive Secretary General of the National Council of Ghanaian Associations. 
well said, better than how I would say it. Now, what do you think about this entire celebration, 59th celebration for Ghana? I mean, it's phenomenal, to say the least. And uh, this is the first time that anything like this has happened, that we've had a, a three-pronged celebration on the entire weekend. We, the first one was um, the city of Yonkers honored Ghana with a flag-raising event on Friday. The ambassador and everybody was there. And then yesterday we had a dinner dance. And today we've had this, you know, this... Uh, uh, non-denominational church service, which is the first of its kind ever since we started celebrating Ghana's independence in this part of the world since 1986. And we've been going at this since 1986. So this is, this is phenomenal. Very. Very. Now, what makes a proud Ghanaian? And if you want to personalize it, what makes you a proud Ghanaian? Well, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think, you, you know, the, question, the answer is in the question, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm very, very proud Ghanaian for so many reasons. I mean, I don't think... Uh, there are very few places like Ghana on earth, you know, especially in Africa, you know, and uh, the fact that we had a, a very illustrious person who was the African, uh, what's it, the African personality of the century. And I'm talking about our ex-president, you know, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, who literally founded Ghana. Uh, he, he put Ghana on a pedestal. I mean, he, he had a vision that was way ahead of his time, and most of us, I mean, the people, unfortunately for him, he didn't have people who could articulate, you know, the kind of things that, but he set us on a path that the education that we had, the, the, the development that we were going through, and I'm talking about just for a period of about four years, he did all these wonderful things. So you could not help to be a proud Ghanaian. You became, you became one out of, out, of, uh, out of many as far as Africa was concerned, and, uh, and we've had that. That, that you, can, you, can, you can call it a chip on our shoulders, you know, for all these years, and we still have it. And what makes you a proud Ghanaian? My, the way we smile, <laughs> the way we are friendly, yeah. the way we receive people, mm -hmm. our culture, mm -hmm. our names, even one thing I love in it that you know that you are from Tuesday, your name is Kobina. So it makes me feel proud of it. And I, I want everybody to feel proud of Ghana. Now, where do you see Ghana in the next decade or more? We are making progress, but there are difficulties since the financial crisis. We've had several difficulties in our country, but it is at the hour of difficulty that you see innovation, that things could, are able to move for, forward. Those who have brought about development to their countries have shown resilience, positive res resilience, in times of difficulty in bringing about change. And if all Ghanaians would come together to work assiduously in their little corner to bring about that change that is necessary, our country would advance. It, it would take Ghanaians abroad that is, the African, the Ghanaians in the diaspora, to also do their bit to bring about this success. It's not a matter of rotation, where we support one person, and when he leaves, the other set of people sit back. It is a concerted action, Ghana first. That is the only way, in my conviction, we can advance our nation and grow our nation positively.